My name is Suzy Gan, and I'm going to talk about a spooky story. This is a story. Uh, when this is a story I heard from my mom when I was a middle school student. I was up at night late, and my mom and I were waiting for my dad to come home. And I wanted to hear some spooky story, so my mother told me about her experience that she been through when she was about my age. As you all may know, our parents live in a poor, poor era. Everyone barely make a living for their own families. So was my mother's family. When she was young, an ice cream factory was back of her house. Uh, do you know that to make an ice cream, it needs only the yellow parts of the egg? So the factory cracked the eggs and split into the yellow eggs and the white eggs and only collects the white eggs, sold it to the village people. Otherwise, they had to throw it away. So my grandmother got a huge stack of it every time she can buy it because it was a very important protein back then and it, it nearly cost nothing. My mother hated it. If you eat the, only the white parts of the egg for a whole week, you can smell the mouth full of chicken crap inside your mouth. Anyway, fortunately, the things got better. Family circumstances got better when she got into the middle school. So after the school, she had to take care of her youngest brother, my youngest uncle, while my grandmother does her housework. While then, on the contrary, the factory that located at the back of my, my mother's house got broke. So the factory abandoned about more than five years. My mother took him, took my youngest uncle to the factory sometimes. The factory, they couldn't get into the factory actually because of the sharp fences around the around there. But though they could get into the warehouse, all they had to do was knock and sneak through the torn wires. Inside the warehouse, it was filthy and light. And the time had made a few crack of it, so it got dingy and shabby. Inside the warehouse, it smelled like rotten eggs because of the abandoned old boxes and the rusty steels. And it got uh, two floors. One was a ground floor, and the other was a basement. The stair to the basement was dark and very narrow, and she recalls the basement was really cold. Maybe the factory worker stared the, the eggs at the basement, I don't know, but she, she recalls it. She really didn't like down there. But my youngest uncle liked there, as if it was some kind of fortress. You know, you know the boys like in that those days. He was about eleven or twelve. So he liked it, and some stray cats settled in there. So my mother, some time to time, took him there to see the cats. And maybe you guys already know. The cats, especially the stray cats, are very hard to get friendly. So my mother took some food scraps inside the plastic bag and brought it to them and took it, or put it at the first step of the to the basement. It was a once a week or twice a week, but they kept went there. And one day, my mother noticed that the tin can she used as a plate got moved. Got moved. 
one step down to the basement. It was weird, but it could happen, right? Probably the cat kicked it and it got fallen to death, right? Mm -hmm. It could happen. So she didn't think it twice. She just pulled the foot out of the bag and reached the hand and put the foot in the tin can. The next time, she went there again and again she noticed that the tin can got moved again. One more step down to the basement. It was really weird. But I guess she didn't think it that weird because if the cat moved it once, the cat probably make it move again, right? So she just reached the arm a little more far and put the foot in there. But she didn't want to step on the stair. So she just reached. A week later, she and her brother, my uncle, went there again. At this time, the can didn't move. The can <coughs> was right there where they left on the third step of the stair. So she again put the food and tried to put it there. But then my youngest uncle grabbed her arm and said, Sister, I want to I want to go to pee. I have to go now. My mother nodded, okay you can go to pee. So, she again tried to reach. Then my uncle swept her arm really hard. So she nearly, nearly dropped the foot. She got irritated. What's wrong with you? My mother shouted. My uncle, however, insisted. I have to take a beat. I have to take a beat. Just let's go. Would you? My mother got irritated, so she said. Just go find some bushes or whatever. But my uncle said, No, I don't want to go into the bush. Just let's go, please, let's go. According to my mother, back then, he nearly seemed to about to cry. So she took him to the home. After all, he was her younger brother. And when they got home, my uncle told her, You see, the stair to the basement was made of steel. Unlike the concrete stair, uh, you know the user stair, right? Like, form in this way. This steel stair was only supported by the side gate. So the stair was uh, like this kind of stair. So the between wall doesn't exist. You can see through the behind the stair. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> in that deep dark, my uncle saw the pair of hands was staying on the stair. A very pale hands. homeless or just his imagination. But when she heard that story, she got spooked. So she told me that she never went to the factory again. It got spooked me too, so I had to cover the uh, cover the seats over my head and wait with my father. I think it probably was a homeless or maybe the serial killer. He didn't live there. <laughs> I don't know what he was expecting there, those pair of hands. But be careful when you go into the abandoned houses or abandoned buildings. So this was my spooky story. And next presenter will be the Yoon Jik Thank you.